Hey guys, welcome back to Total Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to monitor text messages on another cell phone that you do not have physical access to by using your Gmail account. Right from the comfort of your own laptop, PC, or smartphone, you will be able to see all incoming and outgoing messages as they come in in real time. You will also be able to see all of the contacts on that phone as well, and again, you do not need physical access to the phone in order to do this. As always, if you have any questions, please leave me a message in the comments below because I will help you out. Now guys, before we go any further, I have to say this. This video is for educational purposes only. The information in this video is not to be used maliciously or illegally. This video is to help you out if you're in an emergency situation or you need help in monitoring your child's phone in order to keep them safe. The first step to monitoring a phone without touching it is to download the Verizon Message Plus app from the Google Play Store. Once downloaded, the app will ask you to sync the phone that you want to monitor, at which time you will have to enter the phone number of the target device. Once you enter the number, Verizon Message Plus will send a verification code to that device, you will then need to enter the verification code into your app. After this is done, the device will be linked with your Verizon Message Plus account. And from there, you will immediately be able to monitor all of the messages that go through that device. A while back, I had a client, I will call Stacy, who needed help monitoring her teenage daughter's phone. Let's call her daughter, Megan. Megan was getting to an age where she was starting to get a bit more curious about boys. And while Stacy could get a hold of her daughter's phone whenever she was at home, she had reason to believe that Megan was deleting a lot of information off of her phone that she didn't want her mother to see. And Stacy needed a more reliable method to monitor her daughter's phone. Now, Stacy was a really smart woman. She understood that as the parent of that child, while she did have a legal right to simply take her daughter's phone, that wouldn't be the best idea under these circumstances. Stacy understood that if she were to just take her daughter's phone by force, her daughter's trust in her would be shattered and she would never be able to find out what her daughter was really doing going forward. For those of you who have ever been locked out of your Gmail account, whether you forgot your password, lost your phone, or whatever the reason, in order to recover your account, Google will send a verification code to the phone that is associated with the Gmail account via text message. Once you receive the code, you enter it, which then allows you back into your Gmail account. Stacy and I came up with a plan where she would tell her daughter that she had just been locked out of her Google account. And for whatever the reason, whenever she tried to send the verification code to her own phone, it would not go through. So she asked if she could use her daughter's phone to verify instead. Using a spoofing service, I changed my phone number to a Verizon 1-800 number and sent the code to Megan's phone. Once this was done, the two accounts were linked and Stacy could see everything her daughter was doing. The process was really easy and the best part about this was I never had to touch the phone. Well guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video. I tried to keep things a little bit shorter this time around. If you guys have any questions or need any help monitoring your child's phone without touching it, please leave a comment below and I will answer any questions you may have. Thanks for stopping by again and I will see you next time. Bye.